Welcome back, everyone, and uh, thanks for tuning into the show today. This podcast is going to be dedicated to Sandman of MGTOW fame here on YouTube. You all know him. If you don't know him, you should subscribe. He's great. Today's program is about sex and sexuality, and I'm going to put out this disclaimer right now. If you are a female, you may want to turn this video off. Turn off the podcast. Walk away. You may not like what you're going to hear. And for the fellas, I want you to turn it up and listen loud and clear. Okay. How many partners is too many partners for a woman to have for a guy to deal with? First and foremost, for the men, if you cannot handle the truth, don't ask for the numbers. Just do not do it. It's going to be. It's going to be too much for you to handle. We all know that women have a tendency to skew those numbers, and we really don't know what the truth is now, do we? Now, here is my theory, my hypothesis. Hypothesis? <laughs> Here's my hypothesis. Thank you. My lips don't work today. My hypothesis is women inherently understand in our society, in Western society, especially in America, sharing their sexual partners with their man, with their husband, is a mental, emotional killer. Let that sink in for a moment. This is why you don't ask the numbers if you can't handle the truth. It's been said many times that if the girl that you're dating tells you she's had X or Y amount of men in her life, sexually speaking, multiply that by three to five easily. Now, here's where I'm getting with that notion. I want to expound on that. I did a little bit of uh, fact finding here. In America, 16% of girls have sexual intercourse, 16% by the age of 15. Now, basically, if you know 20 women, 30% of those women, a third of the, that 20 have had sex and have been having sex since the age of 15. Now, if this woman is 25 years old, do the math from there. Um, going further, about half of the girls in America have had sex by the age of 17. Now, if you're a young man and you're like 23 or 24 and you're sexually active, maybe you have a girlfriend, maybe you've had several partners yourself. Now, half of the women that you're seeing, the pool of girls available to you have been sexually, sexually active, uh, give or take five, six, seven years. We all know that women in the, in the States have a tendency to a lot of them, not every single one, but to, you know, trade you in for a better bargain. Okay. One night stands, the alpha male, whatever. Now, I think this may speak to why frequently men of all ages prefer to get involved with younger girls or younger women. Obviously, for their beauty, their uh, their heightened uh, sexuality, <laughs> and um, their overall attractiveness. Sure, this is common sense, but especially when men age, you know, into their thirties, maybe even their forties, they know by experience that um, if they want to to avoid getting involved and or marrying a, a woman who's maybe 29 or 30 or 35 and nothing against women of that age. But when we, uh, when we guys think about how many men that they have been involved with possibly, it really, um, it, it scratches our noodle upstairs. That is. And, um, I know a lot of us, especially the ones who are married or about to get married, want to ask that question. Hey, how many guys have you been with? How many boyfriends have you had? And uh, typically speaking, uh, girls will try to avoid the question, change the subject matter and say something about 
Oh, I don't remember. Now, that should be a red flag. If you can't remember how many lovers you've had, then you've had too many. <laughs> Flat out. If you had like 10 or 5 or 12, you would know every single one of those person's names. Okay? Um, you just would. Guys have a lot of sex too, but here's an interesting thing I like to put out is women chase the top 20% of men, period. We all know this as guys, only 20% of us are getting laid, uh, religiously all the time with seemingly without effort. We call those guys thugs. We call those guys pickup artists. We call those guys alpha males, douchebags, assholes. So if the 20% of men are having primarily the majority of sex, that means the women, all the women are chasing the same guy. Okay. This is what we call riding the cock carousel. And those same guys have to satisfy those women, obviously. Okay. Now, now let's go back for a second. In America, exactly 48%, almost half of the girls start sex, sexual activity at age 17. Okay. Half. Now, if you're some guy in a club, you know, in their mid twenties or in college, you are banging some pretty well-versed girls. Okay. We all know girls talk amongst themselves. Now the numbers will change when they share the, the those numbers of partners with each other. You're going to get the real, real deal. I wish you could be a fly in the wall when that happens. Now I want to tell you a quick story. When I was formerly married, my Dutch wife, then Dutch wife, she was in the States, uh, in California with me. And she often told me that the girls that she befriended, the, the uh, American girls, she was just aghast at how much they talked about sex and the stories they told about their sexual conquest. Everything you could imagine. Everything. Okay. So uh, she said at one point, and this stuck with me, she said, I can't believe the things that these girls do. I, I, I really can't. I mean, I'm from Holland and, you know, we, we are pretty open about sexuality and whatnot, but I was kind of ashamed hearing some of the stuff that they talked about. And, uh, a few numbers went out and she said, one girl, has, um, has been with 80 guys. Okay. We're talking about somebody, the group of women in, in question were in their early twenties, 24 to be precise. Okay. That's an awful lot of guys to have by that age. But unfortunately, I think that's, that's common. It's common enough. Uh, so I think that you should be careful what you ask for or ask about with the regards to, Hey, how many partners have you had? Question mark. I don't think that it's something that you, um, should avoid altogether because the, um, the rate of, of, of STDs, especially the, uh, the HPV virus has gone up a lot. So I'm going to leave you on that note. Tell me what you think about it. And, um, 